In this video, I'm going to show you how to use an automation rule to add someone to a Salesforce or Pardot campaign. So the use case would be, I just uploaded a list. I don't really know how Salesforce works. I uploaded my list to Pardot, and now I want to get all those people into a campaign. Sometimes we can do some things here. Let's go with a list that has someone in it. And I can do some actions here. I can add people from a list to another list. I can assign them to a group, to a user. But I can't add them to a Salesforce campaign. So how can I do that? Well, I can run an automation rule. So automation rules. Add an automation rule. Add newsletter list member, list prospects. Prospects to SF campaign. Okay. And again, I like to say you use this description. Um, this auto populates any new newsletter uh, subscribers. Sub subscribers on the list to the CRM campaign. Okay. Thank you for suffering through my typos here. Um, and there's other ways to do this as well. But say you forgot to do it on the form completion action. Okay. Again, I like to put everything in a 2020 folder because it's 2020. And here, these automation rules are extremely powerful. If you want to match all, that means and, and, and or the rules are going to be or, or, or for match any. And then you could do different rule groups. So you can have any's and, and. So you can play around with these. Um, good test of your logic skills. So I'm going to delete that. This will be a pretty simple one. I'm just going to match all. I'm only going to have one rule. So I'm going to say prospect list. This is going to be list. Is the member of the monthly newsletter list. And then I'm going to add an action. This is what I want to do for anyone that meets this. It's almost like making a dynamic list, okay? But they're on that list, and now I want to add them to CRM campaign, okay? And what campaign? I don't even have a newsletter campaign. So but there's my Twitter ones I did in the last video. So I'm just going to pick a campaign in here. For the sake of doing it, we're not going to walk through making a new campaign. It's going to pick the Twitter campaign. And this says, it's hard to read, it says with status. And you can pick sent, responded, connected. By def um, Usually when I add people to Salesforce campaigns, I'm doing, I'm saying they did some kind of call to action. So I'm going to put them as responded. So all these monthly newsletter people, they had come into my system because they filled out a form. So that is the responded. So that is where I would choose the campaign, and then I create the automation rule. Do not use this. It recommends you not, and there's no point, okay? So create an automation rule. By default, every automation rule will always be paused. And this is good because you can do some damage with automation rules, okay? So what you want to do, we're going to edit. Um, I'll actually just save this. I want to preview. So I click on here, preview the matches. So to run an automation rule, it could take 10, 15 minutes before it actually kicks in. So generating a preview helps you know if your logic was right. So if I end up with zero, I know there's one person on that list. My logic is wrong. So do the preview to see if the match is right. And then look at this again, maybe even ask someone because fixing some of these messes can be a lot of work. <laughs> so do I really want to do this? Do I want all these people to be on the, the Twitter CRM campaign? No, I don't. I want them on the newsletter campaign. But this is all I have right now. So that is where we are going to end today. And then if that all matched up, I would just hit resume automation rules. And then that would kick in and those people would start showing up in my Salesforce CRM campaign reports right away. Thank you and have a great day.